Guys, welcome to Real Life Geek Advice. How's it going? Dan Francis Owen, Rachel Clark. Hello. Just, guys, just want to say apologies because my, this, this is, I know every single video that I've done in the Maldives, I've always been wearing a white shirt. The same shirt. I know, and I, it's I have- Is it the same shirt? No. Okay, no, it's, it's all right not, then. It's not, but, but yeah, I just want you guys to know that it's so hot here, it is just unbelievable. So, please excuse Rachel's moniker. Yeah. <laughs> no, you it's look really, amazing. It's really getting out of control here. You look amazing. The humidity. Anyway, just monitoring what's going on there. So, um, so while I'm here in the Maldives, um, we're working with a really great job in Bad, a great function back in the UK. So, I just thought it'd be a really good opportunity to speak to like, all the guys in the band and just talk about different stuff and different experiences because, you know, this real like good advice thing is what we talk about all the time and try to help share tips and pointers and stuff like that so um so yeah we're going to talk to rachel today so rachel's an amazing an amazing musician amazing singer producer dj and um, anything else you want to add um nah nah that's, that's it <laughs> rachel's a northerner like me so we've, yeah we've, we've got a special bond haven't we yes cool and um, what is it we wanted to talk about um, well, we were just talking about how you are talking about being a debt, talking about oh, things yeah, that yeah. you've covered before, and I was just trying to figure out what, what the next best thing would be to talk about um, that's really important for people coming into the industry to know about. Things that we've kind of figured out, like you said, we've figured out along yeah. the road and stuff. Um, and I wanted to talk about how, how to make a, a good first impression and lasting impression. Um, which basically results in repeat repeat gigs, um, a good a good reputation for always turning up and doing a good job, you know, things like that. That in this industry, you know, everybody mm. knows who, who you can rely on. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's it, it's a known fact that people want ease. Really. Yeah, that's right. I think you've spoke about it before. Yeah, that's right. Like whether it be a fixer or a band or. A, an artist or a producer, whatever, they just want somebody that they know would be 110%, and they don't yeah. they don't have to stress about it. They they just want ease. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just want to they just want to know that okay, I need a singer. Yeah. Who can sing all these songs very well? Who is who the the community? Even from like the moment you get the call for the gig. The communication's the, right, yeah. The communication is easy, it, you're not asking too many questions, and then they can rely on you to be like, turn, turn up prepared to rehearsal if there's, if there's, if there's a rehearsal. Yeah. Um, you know, basically and every angle of every angle of the gig, people just want to know that it's taken care of. Yeah, and it's it's all like every little thing plays, it, plays a part because mm. you wouldn't realise that that time that you turned up and you learned the lyrics off chart, for example, as a singer, mm. even though they hadn't asked you to, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. stays in their mind, yeah. and they'll go, oh, well, she goes above and beyond. Exactly, yeah. And you don't even, all the time, it, it's not all about like being a, a Mariah Carey or you know having the most insane vocal technique or whatever. It's all part of it, but you can also build a reputation of just being really reliable, yeah. being really good at what you do, um, knowing that if you know you, you you need your name springs to mind because they know yeah. that you'll get there and you will have done extra to what they've asked for exactly yeah, yeah. and you know like i remember yeah. so i work with mark delister a lot i think i've spoke about this before mm. and he's been a really that's good the, that's the, that's the choir, choir director choir director yeah could you, could you tell the guys about about that gig yeah so mark delister runs um it used to be acm gospel choir it's been going for years and years and years it's now mark delister singers um, he's got a very select group of vocalists that he uses for like big, big sessions all over the UK and, and the world really. Um, which it's like he's got a, just an amazing name for himself in the business of being like 110% along with all of his singers, his team are always 110%. So he'll get booked to do the Royal Wedding for example and 
all the world, like the hall gigs and, you know, just huge, huge things. And I met him when I did Eurovision. Right. He was my okay. vocal coach. I see, right. Um, and then we just got working together and I started sure. joined the choir. Yeah, yeah. But actually it's been quite eye-opening to work with him because he's one of those people that would be like, yes, they haven't asked us to put a ten-part harmony into this song, but we're mm. going to do it. Yeah. Because then... As soon as, like, I think we were at the Royal Albert Hall recently, we were doing Catherine Jenkins, mm. and they just wanted, um, they just wanted Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree or something, like, yeah, really yeah, yeah. simple finisher, and he said, right, well, we're going to do it in, like, full choir, full choral yeah, 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 sure. part, so they haven't asked for it, yeah. but when, as soon as we start, they're all so, going to go, whoa, watch out, whoa. yeah, yeah. And literally, we all, it took us so long to learn these parts, and we're all a bit like, oh, God, this is yeah. a lot to learn. Mark was like, just wait, like, we'll get this gig again. Exactly, because yeah. Because we've gone above and beyond. Exactly. And they, that that puts you above other people in terms of some ability. Like, there might be better choirs out there. Yeah, sure, but yeah. But you know that this choir will come and absolutely knock it out of the park. It's what you bring to, but yeah, it's, it's what you bring to the table, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I'm giving you extras, basically. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Like you kind of get in. You, they're getting more for the money, almost. Yeah. And, and obviously, you've got to factor that into your fees and stuff like that. But yeah. if so, for example, I've been in a similar situation before, where um, I've been booked to do a gig, mm-hmm. and I've known that it's been bass guitar and synth bass, and you know the guys. There's been no mention of synth bass and programming and all that, but I thought, right, well, and myself, I, I want to be able to provide that because I want it, the music to be the best it can be and the bass department to be the best it can be. So I was like, right, so I'm going to program every sound as is. And then when you turn up to the rehearsal of the gig, people are like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa you've, gone, you've gone the extra mile. There. Yeah, and it sticks in people's yeah. minds always. Definitely. And sometimes at the time when you say like, I do a lot of depth gigs for um, bands that have got like loads of medleys and lyrics and yeah. stuff and I've learned all of them now by this point. But when I'm actually going through the learning process, it feels like a never ending mountain to climb. And yeah. I get, you know, you do get a little bit like, oh, am I going to get to the end of this yeah. learning process? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But actually once you've got, once you've put in that work, that work in like the yeah. extra mile. Yeah, yeah. It actually then pays off in other situations that you end up in. So you then turn up to other things where they'll give you loads of stuff to learn quickly, and you, because you've been sat there learning all that stuff, yeah. your brain's just a bit more fiery, and you can just yes. pick up all those lyrics, pick up all those melodies. You're more quick. switched on. Because yeah, it's you, just you, a muscle, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Exactly. So even when you feel like, right, this is going to pay off, all this extra weight work, yeah, it will pay off at some point. I heard a great. Um, a great quote. I think it, I think it was from Ricky Minor, the, the bass player, musical director for Whitney Houston and, and all sorts of other stuff. And he says that there is no traffic on the extra mile, which I, yes. just, I just think is is just so good. how how bad could you put it? It's 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 puts you in a one percent. So, not yeah. not everyone will go the extra mile. The people that that really do well, they they really put themselves yeah. out into the extra mile, yeah. like. Um, that's what sets people apart. Yeah. You know, like some people, I remember I saw this guy, he was an our famous singer or rapper, I can't remember his name, but mm. they were like, man, you've, you've just risen to the top, like in a matter of years, how does it feel to be so talented? And mm. he went, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not talented, I just, I work really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he literally was like, I'm just as talented as the rest of you, I just yeah. work super hard. Yeah, and assessing your weaknesses yeah. and, and... Working cleverly. Yes, yeah. You know? What's, so like, what's that saying? Um, don't work, don't work hard. Work in, work, work clever or intelligent. Yeah, something, like, something, that, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. So if you know that, like, you can put your time into, like, maybe I should, maybe I should, maybe I should put a little bit more time into learning these lyrics today or practicing this little bit of thing because it's gonna, I'm gonna sing it and do it and, and a few people are gonna hear it and go, oh, she really needs to put some work in there. Yeah, she's got it um, And it just, it just starts. Um, paying off in different it, the, ways, doesn't it? Yeah, the ball, the um, starts to snowball. Yeah. Yeah, with yeah. word of mouth and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So Rachel, where can we find you? Like on socials and online and everything. I'll and get this one right. Yeah. The yeah. handle's right. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. It's uh, Raya underscore UK on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. 
Cool. And you've got some music coming out as well, haven't you? I do. Yeah. I've got a track coming out on the 15th of January. It's my debut single, produced by me, written by me. It's called Pollyanna. And where, where can we find that? You can find that on all the usual places. So okay. Spotify, iTunes. It'll be out on all platforms, basically. So. Amazing. Yeah. Guys, great stuff, Bob. Thanks for having Give me. Give it up. Woo. See you later. Bye. Nice one.